This is the challenge that we have today. We want the barrels that are coming in from this side here to move from this conveyor belt up to this conveyor belt over here. And we want the barrels to be standing upright the whole time. Uh, so we have to be a little bit creative here and uh, see if we can design some transitions here from this conveyor belt to this one and from this one to this one so that we get the desired function. One thing that I'm kind of thinking already now is that I want to utilize the barrels themselves to support each other so they don't tip over. And to accomplish that, I, I want to, I want this sparse inflow of barrels to be more compacted over here so that they're actually touching each other and helping each other remain upright. So basically, I want to add some form of, of bridge between these two. And it is okay if that bridge doesn't drive the flow forward. It's okay if it slows down the flow a little bit so that the, the upstream barrels can catch up and uh, compact the flow. So let's see if we can figure out a way to bridge this gap here. Let's see how this works now. barrels are entering from the right and they immediately get stuck but I want to have a, a more well thought through solution that doesn't rely so much on the precise shape of the barrels that shape might change over time for some reason so as always we're aiming for a robust solution here and what I'm thinking is basically, if I pull this back a bit, and then I want to extend it from, from the bend here, basically, and uh, get it to a point where this the top surface here is is pretty much level with the conveyor. Okay, well, let's just test it and see what it does. It's a pretty sharp bend here. Maybe we'll want to soften it a bit. Okay, so they're kind of struggling to get up onto the next conveyor <laughs> and that's not good either when it tips over in that transition there uh, so what can we do here let's uh, shorten this section down to there so that we get traction from the um, conveyor a bit sooner yeah the first transition was was all right I think
And perhaps it's a good thing that the flow does come to like a slight halt there. Because remember we wanted the, the flow to get a little bit compacted. But I still feel like I want to make it a little bit easier. I got the sense that compacting the flow is not the issue here. It, it happens pretty much right away. That barrel is tipped over, but I think it was that already when it came in. See, sometimes there's a little kind of popcorn effect going on there occasionally. And this is interesting. So once the, the flow has saturated a bit, it was almost stable for a while. It looks like we have some you know, dynamic phenomena here where it, the flow is pulsating, which is not what we want. I'm going to see if, if I can get a more consistent flow by, by bridging this gap here. Okay, well that seems better than before. They're not tipping over anyway. But maybe they're getting a little too like immediate support from from this new piece that we introduced. I'm gonna just lower it slightly. Hopefully now it will prevent the, the barrels from tipping over without taking away too much of the traction. We still want the barrels to cross over and, and start gaining traction from this conveyor as quickly as possible. The flow is still pulsating. It is a telltale sign that there is some form of feedback loop in that system and that there is some delay in that feedback loop. I, I believe that's a true statement. Uh, so if you could um, give this a, a bit of thought and help me identify that mechanism, that would be great. And then we can make another attempt to achieve a, a really good solution to this problem. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up there. And um, I will talk to you soon again.